Okay, so the last thing I wanted to talk about is um, these little kind of square icons. Now, most people are just going to see this square portion, and they're only going to see this larger portion, um, this larger banner, when they click into your page or into your profile. Um, so it is quite important for the cropped square to be an image um, that you like and for it to crop properly. Um, so let me talk um, a little bit about how to adjust your image to get it to crop properly. Um, unfortunately, there's really not much you can do about where the image is cropped. It's kind of an automatic feature within Facebook. So what you're going to have to do is actually play around with your banner to get um, the portion that you're interested in um, into this square. So I'm going to look at my test up here and notice that it's kind of cutting me off at the hairline and then like right here in this tiny little gap um, between my elbow and my jacket. So I'm going to come back over here to um, PowerPoint and I'm just going to draw um, two kind of guidelines and say, okay, it's kind of cropping me off right there, copy, um, create another line, and then again, kind of right where there's that small space between my elbow and my jacket. Okay, so that is essentially the, the portion that is being cropped um, for the thumbnail image. And so now you're going to need to adjust your design so that the, the thing that you want as the thumbnail image um, fits between those lines. So I'm going to um, highlight this whole thing and I'm going to need to ungroup the elements. So arrange ungroup. Okay. Um, and that's going to allow me to um, move the image somewhat. And maybe I want to um, go for a more complete headshot, that was a little bit too big. Um, so again, I'm working with my two blue lines, trying to think about kind of where, where do I want it to crop me. And that looks pretty good. Actually, I'll make this a little bit smaller. Um, so if I'm happy with that, again, I'm going to need to now crop the image so that it fits inside the frame. So what, with the image highlighted, I click Format and Crop, and I need to bring this in so that's inside that vertical line, and I need to bring this in. Um, and now the image is interfering quite a bit with my bullets, so I'm going to go ahead and bring um, the bottom of the image up to right there. Okay. So that is going to give me kind of the squared um, cropping that I want. I'm going to move these bullets down a little bit. Um, there's a little bit of kind of a vacant space up here um, under the name that kind of feels like it needs something. So I'll put, you know, tagline goes here. Uh, would be a good place to put some sort of um, a sub-headline, maybe in a slightly different font, like an italicized font. Okay, that's going to look better. Um, at this point, I can remove these blue lines. Um, I'm going to again select all of it and do Arrange Group. And then right click Save as Picture. Uh, make sure to choose JPEG. Uh, I'm going to call this Facebook Sample um, V2 and Save. And then come on back over here, um, do change picture, upload a picture. Um, right on the desktop, yes. Facebook sample V2. Okay, I'm going to make that the picture. All right, cool. And now I'm going to do another um, test post to kind of see how the um, thumbnail image is looking when it gets cropped. All right, so that's very much like my um, original one with the blue background. That was kind of the look that I wanted in terms of where the photo was getting cropped. Um, so unfortunately, that's a little bit of a trial and error um, over here in the PowerPoint. But the, the main advice I would give you is maybe create just a really, really rough um, banner first and upload it into Facebook to see how it's looking 
and then go back and do all of your finishing touches and make it exactly what you want it to be. Um, you will be really frustrated if you make it perfect and then find out that your face gets cut in half when it crops. So um, do a rough one first, adjust it, um, and then work around um, the portion that will get cropped into the thumbnail. Um, okay, that's it for um, the do-it-yourself using PowerPoint. And I'll shoot another video um, to talk a little bit about um, outsourcing the whole process if you'd like to do that instead.